Thump, thump, thump. The song playing? There. There we go. I like music. 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 We like music. We like music. We like music. All right. Well, we all love music here. Um, and that's why we're currently reading music. Which Yay. is kind of like music. So in this hour, we got King Calamari giving us some wonderful drawings. Got Adam Bozarth, Bunny Bread, Jack Chick, and Shell Game. Yay. And um, yeah, you know, um, we're going to Nusik.com, which is this like weird AI learning thing for helping you find music. But I don't really give a shit about that. What I do care about is it's a place where people can put their opinions about music on the internet, finally. Oh, so, we can hear Good, some we needed of those. another one of those. Yeah, yeah, another, yeah. There was one before? Yeah, well, no, no this is the first one, actually. <laughs> okay, so thank God. Finally, we can hear some, we, we're going to finally hear some opinions about music. Ooh, and excellent. Bunny Bread, I think, or as, as I know you a little bit better, uh, yeah. J-Dub. Um, oh, and Bump Girl, I'm sorry. Bump Girl, you're here as well. My bad. <laughs> Hi, Bump Girl. <laughs> I'm very small and easy to miss. It's okay. That's she right. I'm, the I'm, I'm very excited for your opinions, too. But, uh, Buddy Brad, you're J-Dub, right? I'm J-Dub. Yes, that's that's me. I, there's yeah, nobody else named pretty... J-Dub on this podcast ever. Yep. <laughs> and I hear you have some things about Kid Rock. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I am J-Dub in the sense of I have strong opinions. About Kid Rock. Oh, Kid Rock is just another sellout artist. It's a shame too. He used to be my favorite singer, but as soon as Cocky came out, that all changed. Devil Without a Cause was the best album at the time, and he's still one of my favorites. But now most of his stuff is soft and all poppish. I only hope that his next album goes back to what he used to be because that was the real, real Kid Rock. Frowny Frowns! Anybody got something to say? I'm right. That's why nobody's talking. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Big C. Uh-oh! See, these people talk about Kid Rock saying he sucks and he sold out. That he's nothing but a soft guy. If right! If you listen to the CD Devil Without a Cause, he's what? basically saying that, yeah, he might think he's soft till he comes out and opens a can of whoop ass on you. Woo! Oh! Dang! Ultimate War, you <laughs> cutting some promos. Yeah! And uh, nobody's going to talk back to Big C, bro. Bump Girl, uh, you're, you're Erica. Uh,. I really want to also be Britney's corpse. Damn right. Okay, you do. Well, why don't you be Britney, Britney's corpse and shell game could be Erica. Okay. Britney's corpse. Hillbilly brother fucking sister drinking chicken like a pig burger and twat. <laughs> she ain't <laughs> so wrong. Happy. I love that wrong. Beck song. Yeah. <laughs> Southern playlistic Cadillac. <laughs> monkey, <laughs> monkey. Well, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm Erica. Uh, right. I love his song, especially his new one. Kid Rock left his fi fiance aunt the wedding to right. marry another woman. I think that is wrong, but he still rocks. P.S. Erica. Warner Brothers, Erica. Erica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? Well uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Jen S. Uh, okay, so when you first see me, you wouldn't think this chick listens to Kid Rock, Country Girl Trucks, Horses, etc. <laughs> you don't but, listen to etc. But he's really just a good old boy. Uh, you can definitely boy. hear the Hank and Skinner in him. I agree with him about parents need to quit blaming him and look in the mirror. This guy would be welcome anytime at my ranch to knock a few back and throw some shoes. Throw your shoes, baby. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Adam, go for it. Okay. I'm Nessipu. I love Kidrock, but I think he is 
the best. He should tell Pamela Anderson to go to hell. He is much better without her. Best wishes to you in the future. Yeah, wishes. Um, all right, yeah, so that's Kid Rock. I think that's what we expect about Kid Rock. Um, Are there any Kid Rock adjacent artists that you would like to talk about? Well, yeah, and I think this is one of Jack Chick's favorites. Jack Chick, could you tell us about Ted Nugent? I fucking hate you. (gasps) I've heard of him. (laughs) I didn't know Jack Chick loved Ted Nugent so much. Oh, no, he doesn't like to talk about it. I mean, the thing is, is that is that Ted Nugent has me in a stranglehold, and then he crushes my face. That's. Uh, oh. I strongly recommend <laughs> you do not buy the new Crave Man CD. It is the worst thing Ted Nugent has ever recorded, and that includes all Amboy Duke stuff. He states it is his most intense stuff ever, but one listen and you will be on your way to trade it for anything else. 1995 Spirit of the Wild was good for then, but now in 2002 this is despicable for a pro. Dot dot. By (laughs) former fan. Uh, Adam, you're a red deathy. Ted Nugent really sucks. My 86-year-old grandma rocks harder than that, pussy. Yeah, whoa, 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 man. Hang on, Red Deathy, man. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm a devoted news fan. Thanks for the shout-out, Belch, bro. All right. I'm a devoted news fan dating back to 1976 when I first saw him. <laughs> Indescribable. He has persevered the music industry for like, like, like 47 years. And he's still rocking. Here. Yup, yeah, he's still rocking like most only wish they could, you know. Oh, <laughs> well, I would like to hear from any of you that are with me and have nuge music. We call it nuge music. No, I don't. I have lots of boots and other music from the Motor City Man. And boots. <laughs> music. Nugic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of Bump Girl's husband and other music from the Motor City Man. I send it to her in pieces. I send dick last. No. This has been Coach RB, by the way. All right. Well, Herb. coaching I'm... roast beef. <laughs> coaching running back, dick face. I roast beef is I'm an assistant coach. Coach running back. <laughs> uh, so, um, my name is Tommy Bazzano, and I've got something really fucking important to talk about. Oh, okay. And this is this is under corn before they sold out. <laughs> oh, there oh, they are. And they put the just like you said. Yeah. <laughs> So this is under the topic corn before they sold out. Um, oh. It's kind of funny how nobody on this planet can give one single reason as to why they think corn sold out. Nope. I think it's because everyone knows they did not sell out. Well, there you go. Open and shut case. Oh. Thank you, Tommy Bizzano. Oh. Thank you. You people don't know what it means to sell out. Yeah, you have Limp to have something Bizkit. to sell. Huh? You have to have something to sell. That's right. That's yeah. right. Limb Biscuit, that's a perfect example of a sellout band. Right. Corn has grown and developed their sound and become right. even better than they were when they first started. Now they really yeah. pop. Oh, I'm yeah. growing very tired of hearing the emphasis on their first album and their second one that, yes, they are fantastic albums, but all their albums are. Right, right. I don't see how Korn just suddenly stopped making good music in the minds of you people. The newer stuff is almost better because of how melodic the songs are and how incredible Jonathan Davis' is. Right. <laughs> how incredible Jonathan Davis's voice has been developed into. But oh, okay. into whatever. Into into a very fat guy. <laughs> I don't know, but since you all have the IQ of a vegetable, I guess there is no rational reason as to why you think they sold out. Nope, nope, nope. Um, and Bump Girl, you're this next person. <laughs> I am a Wang Saturn. <laughs> a Wang Satan? 
They didn't sell out, motherfuckers. All their albums are pretty fat bitch ass jack offs. I think you former corn fans are all sellouts because I, a wankster Coco, is the loyalist corn fan in the planet. The reason you ass wipes think that is because in every album, Korn changes their style of everything. I seem to like their changes, dudes and dudettes. Yes. Now, I don't know much about, I don't know much about Korn. Do, do their listeners believe in the hollow earth? Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably, most probably. likely, yeah. yeah. I mean, then that, that fits. Play the odds. Their new album, Don't Suck. Hey, they won a freaking Grammy for peak's sake. <laughs> I hate you guys! Oh. Freaking former corn fans sellouts! Corn rules! Go Kings! Go Kings! Has anybody disagreed with you? Uh, no, yeah, she, she was imagining said... a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Well, and Jack Chick, you're Mike Harvey, and you, I think you have just, you're right there with, with uh, A-Wang. I agree with you, A-Wang. Corn's music is more powerful now than it was in 1994, and I think the members of Corn did an excellent job with writing the music to UNTOUCHABLES! Their riffs on the fifth album are both heavy and melodic, which enable Jonathan to prove to his fans and the sellout fans that he has a melodic I'm getting voice. seasick from you talking. <laughs> he doesn't have to scream. How is he doing this? Because <laughs> he's an I'm, artist. I'm really, oh God, I gotta look at the horizon. <laughs> Ugh. I Can happen somebody speak to in love nautical illusion? Oh. He screams and lets all of his pain out. But the melodic riffs and his <laughs> melodic voice and putting <laughs> those two together, it's a beautiful thing. Corn will be around for a long time and I'll be supporting the <laughs> Muniddle they can't play anymore. I mean, yeah, the, the government subsidizes them, so... But, but, I, but I hope they never stop. Me too. Uh, just FYI, the more powerful Party. now is in uh, uh, 27th April 2003. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they ever stopped. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Nine tired of years talking... later, they were more powerful than ever. Yeah. I'm really tired of talking about shitty sellouts like corn. Right. And <laughs> that's why, Shell Game, I'd love to hear yeah. your opinions on a real band. Oh, I'm not talking. Yeah. I'm flip mode. Hi, right, flip. it's me, Flip Mode. Uh, hey, I'm you're sure. The I, hey, I'm sure ICP is glad to see so many Chuggahoes. <laughs> yeah, Chuggahoes pissed that they always knew this was coming. They knew some fuckers wouldn't accept this god shit. They don't give a fuck. The carnival will carry on. ICP gave hundreds of thousands of real Juggalos all away to gather together and rock. They aren't gonna do. They aren't gonna diss one of their fans just because they believe in God or Satan or Buddha or whatever the fuck. All juggalos are family, and every fucking one of us is different, weird, freaky, stupid, insane, or twisted. The whole world needs to needs to quit bitching and fucking calm down. You should have known they'd say some shit to twist your nuts eventually. Chuck a fago and shut the fuck up. You you know you'll be at the next show. Flip mode. Is the squid up? Uh, Adam, you're the killer juggalette. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm the killer juggalette. <laughs> what the fuck, people? How can you even fucking shit all over the race? I thought it was fucking beautiful. Shit. Big fucking deal that Ip isn't fucking satanic. Not everyone is. <laughs> finally, under <laughs> finally understand what all the Joker cards are about. Did anyone else go to the Juggalos shit this summer? Shit. shit. I went for all three days. <laughs> I never had a better time in my life. Well, whatever. I know I'm down with the clown, Killer Juggalette 2002. <laughs> all you motherfuckers that didn't get the message a long time ago need to walk your reperpeted asses out onto the street and shoot yourselves. Ooh. ICP has always followed God and has always dissed those who beat their wives and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Yeah. yeah. You're the, we all should have seen it. ICP are the greatest. <laughs> really was foolish of us not to, not to notice all of the, <laughs> the Jesus allegories in there. Sort of like Harry Potter. No, it's not.
I'll be lashing my ass of when I see all you haters burning in hell. What about let's go all the way or halls of illusions? Pass me by. Nothing's left or echo side. If you were a real juggalo or juggalette, you would have seen these songs and knew what they were talking about. Nothing but a bunch of fucking idiots you haters are. To all my homies, all my juggalos and juggalettes, my family. We will all be together forever, and I will see you all on the Echo side. I love you! And it just, it doesn't matter what all the haters and, and non-believers say or think. We are who we are, and together we overpower the rest! You all laugh because we are different. But we all laugh because you're all the same! Oh, yes. mind blown! Oh my Ouch. god! Dude, I'm the clown haters. I'm kill all clown haters. O twenty four. But my real email address, if you care to email me, is slipknotdude o two four at yahoo dot com. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I really don't understand these 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 fake jugglos. Yeah. posting in here and pretending to be on that real wicked shit because yeah. we all know that they refer to each other as, as ninjas mm -hmm. not a single one of these people has, has has called anybody else a ninja and also what the hell is this echo side bullshit we all know it's Shangri-La yeah, that's like true. they haven't even listened that's to the fucking true. Joker cards uh, yeah they haven't even listened to the albums that hadn't come out as of 2002 right, these are obviously shit. fucking twisted fans and not ICP fans. That's right. Man, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fake ass fake fucks. Speaking of choose, having to choose between Twisted and ICP, there's right. a choice coming up in the next hour. <gasps> um, and I'd rather bang Twisted and kill ICP. No, that's not what you're asking. Um, and I'll, you know, as soon as Lemon gets that up, we'll, we'll talk more about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> the choice <laughs> is between Foreskin Quest and Teach Me How to Jelk. Um, two equal. Teach me how to joke. Teach me, teach, teach me, me how to joke. joke. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, we're gonna take you back to your regular schedule. Scheduled ICP content, Adam. Oh, <clears throat> my name is Ek Star C, posting from September of two thousand three. ICP, insane chumps and punks. ICP, inbred chicken posse. ICP, is clowns pretty? ICP, intercourse comes pricey. Blink for them. ICP, insane, come pirates. They aren't insane. They look like clowns, and they are pussies. <laughs> Oh. They look like clowns! How has nobody noticed they look like clowns? Oh my god, he's right. Uh, this, is, this, is, open. this is Jack is Hot 6, and I just wanted to say, ha 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 ha. Fuck you. Uh, Alright. Oh, no, no, I'm not, not, okay. <laughs> Jack is Hot 6. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, th th that, that was rash. Oh, it's a fight. <laughs> a fight starts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there are two things that piss me off more than anything. People fucking with my hacky sack, right, right. And people saying or doing shit about slash towards ICP. Slash towards? Is he misspelling? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Slash towards insane chicken posse or someone I care about and you piss me off by laughing at all the fucker and there is no fixing things and I don't send clowns. I do the dirty work myself. It's fun. Go ahead and lay off when someone is dicing ICP. You'll see what happens. Clown love to all juggalo la la la. Morte! Oh! Can you actually read Morte's for other posts right above that? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> okay, Echo Consistency and Jack is Hot Six, let's rewind. All right. If I knew you, I would kick your ass for what you said about Echo Papa. I am a juggalette with a who attitude, with a Hugh Hewitt attitude. Attitude. That is A D D I T U D E, right? And if you want to fuck with Jay and Shags, then you have to fuck with this PMS and bitches first. Mm. Always PMS it. 
Bixth. Bixth. Yeah. Pinsing Bixth. Who the man is Bix? I'm a ball fast Bix. All right. I will not only kick the fit out of you, but torture you as well. Torture. Oh, sweet Christ. Uh, torture. It's the person torche. who uses a torch. Yeah, torture torche. you as well. Torche you as well. Avec moi. Oh. The yeah. And I'm sure, as in Pauly, that all the other juggalos and let's would agree with me when I say, fuck you, exclamation much. Kyla Marte. Now, was we saying stuff? Jack is hot six? Probably not. That's it. He did. I kill him. Yeah, you got him. With you my PMS. Him. With my PMS. Um, <laughs> I was not agreeing. I was just saying that pirates are funny. I'm sorry. Don't torture me or kick my ass or send your clowns at me. <laughs> oh, no. You the Bix. Ugh. No, not the Bix. Yeah, the Bix. <laughs> Hands ever. It's Torche. Mm, mm. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry, sorry. And be before we move on to a real band, I just want to say one last thing. I'm, my name's yep. Joshy, and uh -huh. my my fave song is "Fuck the World," so fuck you all. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, shell game. Wow, yeah. looks like uh, looks like F Plus fans really want to learn how to jelk. Well, right. yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> we already know the other one. Yeah, that's true. We, we all know how to go on a foreskin quest. That's true. I have a contractual right? obligation to be against the foreskin quest, so... I think Frank West has played that video game anyway, so they're probably bored of it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Jack Chick, can you um, just lead us in on Slipknot here real quick? Yeah, okay. So my name is uh my name is Sick without the K, so it's just S I C. Uh, so this is how misspelled. Uh <laughs> yeah. Uh okay. <laughs> Mushroom head sucks. They are stupid. Look at the names. Pig Venus. Oh Ditch yeah. Gravy yeah. Jeffrey Nothing. Yo. Damn, get a life. <laughs> They suck and suck in that new metal fucker. Slipknot is the best brand in the fucking world. I like the self-titled more than Iowa, but Iowa is also fucking great. Stay fucking. Good. Okay. All right. It's uh, a real I, Nathan Barley sign off there. Yeah, that yeah. is all exactly the same context. <laughs> Funny, Brandon, <laughs> Yo, Slipknot. Did somebody say Slipknot? Slipknot. It's so slipknot. It's so motherfucking tight because they don't give a fuck about what else be going on. And all their songs are tight and wicked and all, all the other bands are to the slipknots. Yup. They fucking kicks the ass on the big times. So fucking keep coming at us with y'all tight ass shit because we all are fucking all right. Quotes. Uh, ha ha. Quote unquote. By diesel. Uh. Uh, Healy, as I want to point out, that uh, Foreskin Quest has now pulled into the lead. Oh, that, oh that's good. All, all my Foreskin heads finally showed up in the stream. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four, four. I am Gothic. Oh, three, eight, nine. Slipknot is hella better than Mushroom Head and have and eat problems with Slipknot. Then you'll have to deal with me. Fuck, uh, not gothic 0389. No, You'll have to deal with me! <laughs> and, uh, Shell, you're some freaky girl. Uh, I mean, yeah, but yeah. you want me to read. Meow. <laughs> you're right, I'm some freaky girl. Look, I bet all you people are under 16 years old. Flipknot yep. are a bunch or shit. Mm -hmm. Try people. listening to Pantera or Metallica or Slayer or Ozzy. Come on! I mean, I think Avril Lavigne is better than Slipknot, and that is saying something! Whoa, it is. Wow. Something. Something. All right, well, that was great. I love Slipknot. Now it's time to talk about, our, you know, somebody who's been in the news more recently. We got Eminem. Uh, Bumper, what do you think about Eminem? 
Well, on Saturday, November 23rd, 2002, yo, y'all be talking bad about Eminem. He's gone farther than in life than in many. Y'all probably ever will. He has the most beautiful daughter and he loves her so much. My mama don't oh. like him for what he did to his wife. But yeah, I know he's straightened up his life now and he's got a freaking <laughs> huge career ahead of him. So appreciate oh. what he's accomplished in life. He's gone so far. Eminem lover for life. Her girl, Nikki, Nikki, get a little girl. Three, four, four, nine. Damn. Hey. No what? periods up at her. She got the menopause. Can you no not periods until in that whole AKA. AKA. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Only you're right. That is the only that. period. Yep. <laughs> he star writened his life up. Mm. He did. Um, I just want to say that Eminem deserves to be where he is right now. After reading Eminem, Angry Blonde, I realized he is the most beautiful person on this earth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Am I obsessed? I don't know. But his music is the motherfucking best music to listen to. Okay. Just just like you say, Marshall, you're doing it for kids who don't have a thing except for a dream and a fucking rap magazine. When I've had a fucked up day, I throw on Sing for the Moment. Um, I have only one friend that also loves you, and we piss people off singing er rhymes at home, outside in class, and everywhere. We love you and your gorgeous daughter. Why do they keep talking about his daughter? This is fucking weird. Wasn't she like six or something in 2002? Yeah. Oh, God. We hate Kim. Or I'm... <laughs> or I'm just jealous that she's been with you, and I haven't. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. My 8 Mile CD is blasting right now. I'm pissing my mum off. But I just don't give a fuck. Love you, oh. Marshall Mathers. Please come on tour to Australia. Oh, that was my Australian accent. Um, yeah, I am yeah. dying to yeah. see you. Lots of love, Adriana, from 2002. Yep. I wonder if she still uses the, the email address. I don't well, know. Give her a holler, man. Peace. Yeah, that's, yes. that's what Pop about that shit. M&M. I saw what you posted about Eminem in 2002. <laughs> Let's talk. We should talk, yeah. We should get some coffee, baby. Um, Adam, you got any? Yeah, you got any um opinions about Eminem? You care to share? I mean, of course I do. Um, <laughs> let's see. Am I each choose, Rose? choose whatever you want? Whichever I'm Rose you want. because yeah. somebody responds to Rose. Well, I think the he so cool. Some people might think he is so bad, but I think he is the best and just let him do the things he likes and just keep your comments to yourself and the nimbles great wonderful now what do you think about that <laughs> keep your comments uh, what do i think well <laughs> yeah okay rose you're kind of confusing because you're saying and i quote and just keep your comments to yourself when you're sitting there expressing all your feelings about him. Why can't people say what they feel about Eminem? It's a free world, so you should shut up and stop telling people not to comment. Anyways, yeah, Eminem, you're drop-dead gorgeous and you kick ass. Love ya! That's a lot of love. Damn. Thanks. Thanks for that. You know, uh, we're going to take a bit of a detour here to somebody relevant to all of our hearts. And oh. Jack, do you want to do you want to read what um, or Bump Girl? Actually, Bump Girl, you please read what's in the. Oh, wait, that was confusing. Well, anyway, Bump Girl, read this thing that, that, that Boots posted. We we are multitudes. Yeah, you guys are yeah. one. And it, it yeah, kind of confused me. Yeah, yeah I get yeah, us yeah. confused all the time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I am Tim from Monday, 28th, July, 2003, 2346. Tim! This is what I have to say about Hanson. Once they've evaded the caracal and arrived back at the visitor center, Mills decides to have a few words with McGill in the dining room. During this time, we can clearly see two ceiling fans running. A lot of people have written me and said that they shouldn't be running because all the power is out. However, at no time has anyone up to this point said all the power is out. The fences are out. 
and around the complex, the phones are out and evidently some power is out, at least in the kitchen, because McGill said all the ice cream was melting. If you'll remember, gold sabotage is the reason systems were going out and the failures seemed to be random. The whole complex didn't just shut down. The entire power system doesn't go out until later when Jackson shuts down the control systems. So, although some of the center's power seems to be out at the moment, it's arguable that the fans were running on a circuit that was not shut off. That's oh. what I have to say about Hanson. Damn. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, bunny bread, bunny bread. Damn! What do you guys oh. share? What do you guys share with us? That baseline says what we're all thinking. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I know Hanson is what we're all thinking about constantly, but yeah, I want to go a little bit earlier in the alphabet. I want to go all the way back to G. That is for Genesis, which is also the birth of everything. Now, not only is it a book in the Bible, but it is also something far greater than that. No, 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 no. My name is Rapper Crush. And I follow G, that's what we call Genesis, all of us Genesises, from the beginnings all the way to the present. I've seen every concert tour. My fave concert was in 73 when I footed the bill for 30 friends, 30 motherfucking friends to go see them at the TP Warner Theater in Washington, D.C. I got there two hours early to hold seats in the balcony and was able to watch the sound check. <laughs> And sat glued to the part when Phil came on to tune his drums. It was fucking amazing. He hit him and shit. I've seen the lamb three times. When I was at the Duke concert and Meriwether Post Pavilion, both shows, Happy the Man's Crafty Hands was the featured opening act on the sound system. Oh my god. Anyone into Happy the Man? All us happy heads are, you know, we call them just happy. By the way, I've been to HTM's Halloween parties in the 70s at the Rockingham County Fairgrounds. Represent! Fuck Hanson, by the way. I love the, like, the, like, this forum is all about, like, Eminem and Slipknot, and then here comes the guy who's like, I saw Genesis in 73. <laughs> <laughs> I only saw Genesis. I sat there masturbating to Genesis. I mean, you know, sure. <laughs> well, yeah, Jack Chicken, you're another one of those. You're Tim Modern is 22. I sure oh, am. Oh, no, geez, Genesis. What's up? I, I also wanted to point out that uh, Jelking pulled back ahead. Oh, Thank good. God. Well, yeah, pull usually, back ahead. It usually does pull ahead eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you're not careful. <laughs> I just picked up a trick of the tale, and I am very pleased to say, even though I am listening to it for the first time as I type this, that I totally love it. As a person who has grown up hearing all about this band, but never actually quite hearing them, if you, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I am I am more than impressed with how relevant and interesting they sound. Everyone should go out and pick up this record. It's a monster. Wednesday, uh, July 1st, 2009. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> the greatest day in history. All right, well, we're about to finally get into some controversial opinions. Um, uh oh. Oh. My name is the Great Neutrino, and I have this to say about the Beatles. This band is highly overrated. Oh, damn. Um, oh, shit. Oh, damn. No. We're just going to start Ooh. beef like that? Oh, my you God. You were yeah. saying those words out loud? Shit. Someone about to get shot. But, uh, but Shell, you have a different opinion, uh, Sammy Chica. I, oh, do I? Okay. Yeah, this is you. Yeah. You better not have a different opinion. Uh, I love the Beatles. Oh, songs are way coolio. The, like tune, the, the tune is so catchy, period. As for the great neutrino, the Beatles are n -n -n not highly overrated. I thought that was your job. Ooh. Ooh. Sammy Chica. What? what? Uh, Bump Girl, you're Anna. <laughs> Bump Girl, you're Anna. <laughs> I really am. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you, Sam Chica, but does it really take any extra time to spell out the words <laughs> love stakes? The God damn it. was and are instead of writing L U V D A W U Z R. <laughs> Who wasted okay? more time? 
You're, Dr. Walter, <laughs> Sam Chica or Anna. That's and... the next vote. <laughs> Who wasted more time? <laughs> Anna or Sammy Chica? Well, the Disgust. Beatles say Anna. Uh, I think that's the Splatoon question. <laughs> Adam, you're, you're Christopher here. Christopher. Influence. Trend. That descends over a decade. Style. Creativity. And a real voice. They influence more people than any other musical group in the history of musical groups. People weren't offended simply because John Lennon said they were bigger than Jesus. As if that was some sort of blasphemy. Quote unquote. Some people were offended because they realized it was true. And their religious ideals were at stake in the light of... Of the truth with a capital T. How hard is that whenever this is the message they bring? Quote, and in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you take. You're Wait, wrong. In, <laughs> and in the end, <laughs> which love you take <laughs> is equal to the love you take. Yep, <laughs> it's true. That Prove, means- him wrong. Prove him wrong. <laughs> that adds up. Amazing. To be that pretentious and then it's to end deep. on that cool misquote. <laughs> Influence. Trend that transcends over a decade. Love you take equal to the love you take. Yup. Uh, hi, I'm Kaizo. Kaizo! My dad likes lots of the Beatles songs. I think they're kind oh. of cool. Kaizo! Aw. Okay. Buddy Brad, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this big old bitch boy nuts on Beatles' forehead, yes? <laughs> <laughs> the Beatles are overrated. Uh, the hype was bigger than music. Where were Beatles in 70s, 80s, 90s? No, <laughs> they were nowhere. They were dead, some of. The bitch boys were uh, out on the tour and putting out the uh, albums. Brian. Kokomo! See? This is Kokomo! Yups. The Brian Wilson is the greatest musical mind of 60s and beyond. Long live Dennis Wilson! Carl Wilson! God bless your both! Live in rock and heaven forever! This has been these nuts! Ah! Come on, fucking guy! I did! Alright. I'm gonna take I'm gonna bring our opinion our, our attention over to the stream where Foreskin Quest is beating Oh nope, it just changed. Teach me how to gel they, they were one cent apart, now teach oh. me how to gel because I head by like a dollar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but it has it has six 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 in the number, so that's, that's the Satan tr- number. That's good. Lebo. Lebo. Yeah. So yeah, people can't decide if they wanna go <laughs> go on a journey with their foreskin or learn how to gel. It's just, it's a tough, it's a Sophie's Choice kind of deal. Like, you're missing out on something awesome. Yeah, they go hand in, they really go hand in hand. I was hoping nobody would donate, and then we'd have to figure out what the hell to do if we couldn't do either, Doc. (laughs) We could just, we could hum for an hour. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, I I think we should, yeah. Oh, wait, you got something? No, 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 I don't, I don't. Well, if Jack Chick just wanted to, you know, freestyle for a bit. I mean, if you, if you, I mean, I mean, really, if, if you want to ask me what my name is, I think no one knows. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> hey, 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 you guys. There's a long story about how I got to love good Charlotte, but I'll try cool. to make it short. Ock. Ock. It started out with this guy I liked in which he was into different things than me. In other words, he liked rock and stuff. I liked rap. He skateboarded as I hung out with the preps. We started talking. <laughs> <and> the... <laughs> y- yes, Shell. <laughs> the preps. Nothing. I'm just, I don't know why anybody would hang out with preps. <laughs> well, so let me explain. Well, you know we that started, or the greasers. We st- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to hang out with the Jets, but then I learned about yeah, the Sharks. Yeah, hang out with the Sharks. What? The shit, baby. <laughs> Open your mind. We started talking, and then one day I lo- told him that I liked him. He told me that he likes me too, but the only problems were he had a G- GF and also that I'm a prep. I told him it shouldn't matter what I am. It it shouldn't matter what I am. It counts on the inside. Then he invited me to come hang out with his friends for a while and listen to his kind of music for a while. And maybe we'll see if we're right for each other in a while. In which my friends had a problem with it. So I hesitated on doing it, but I did. So we all started hanging out and everything. And I was like, wow, skaters and people. 
uh, like that aren't really that bad. Then we started hanging out every day in school and out of school and everything. And guess what? Then the guy I liked, the, the, I liked invited me to a concert. Uh, oh, sorry. And guess what? They taught me how to skateboard. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this is hard to read. So why? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. So now, so no, my bestest friends are skaters and everything like that. Then the guy I liked invited me to a concert him and his band were having. And I was like, mm, okay, but I'm still into my music, but I guess I'll go. I went and they were amazing. The guy I liked after the show asked me, so what did you think? I said, you guys were great. Then he said, well, if you thought we were good, then I know you'll love good Charlotte. So he got me listening to them and everything. And guess what? I love my new friends to death. And all I care for my old friends can just kiss my ass because they didn't like me anymore because I listened to different music skateboard and dress different than they do if they were true friends then they should have accepted <laughs> as an exception um, yep. me the way i am just like the guy i like and his friends do oh yeah by the way meow me and that guy go out i love you good charlotte you're possessive the best wow what'd wow. you say your name was again no one knows oh okay hmm. now that is a genuine female that yeah no that, that makes sense. <laughs> female this is how women white women on the internet in 2002. <laughs> woman! 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 Skaters! <laughs> hey, Pony Bread, can you tell me what you think about your favorite band? Uh, oh, my favorite band. Oh, I'm glad you finally asked. Okay. Yeah. Um, that, that would be Blink-182. Love them forever. Um, uh, love all three of them. Travis Barker, I will meet you in heaven where we will fuck. Um, and I just... It, uh, Blink, you know, they used to be good, but they're loosing it. Why, I don't know. But I think MCA is uh, getting to their heads. That's the dead guy from Beastie Boys. I love their old stuff, like on Cheshire Cat and Dude Ranch. Uh, Enema's pretty good, too, but I hate, with a passion, their newer stuff. Songs like, or Direction, or whatever, what happened. Um, I can't even listen to them anymore. I used to look at these guys for guidance, good, well, I mean, jouidance, and uh, support. I found it in their songs, but recently, I lost my favorite band. I used to feel like Blink-182 was a band for me and my friends. But, when I see little 6th grade kids running around in Blink-182 shirts, yelling the words, to girl, at the rock show, until the moms tell them to come in... Also, side, I kind of lose interest in Blink. Why are people allowed to like the same shit I do? Wrong. No. And why is Mark working with Simple Plan? They are the worst band ever. I decided now at the end of my paragraph. Spelling is just a boy band with instruments. Except most boy bands have better lyrics than Simple Plan by Junkie Jim. God damn it. Do, 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 do. Eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars and the and The race quarter. between Forskin Quest and Teach Me How to Jelk is at a standstill. Two twenty nine ninety four is completely tied up. It's a barn burner, people. It's a tale of two halves it's here. A, a simp- your your donation will determine what the next hour is. Who's got a penny? Who's got a penny? <laughs> The future, Ooh, the future of these dicks is, are in your hands, Jack. No, folks, <laughs> no, dicks back, Jack. Okay, don't, Jack. Oh, what? oh, foreskin quest. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Shane Boy <laughs> says four skins, four skins. Um, <laughs> thanks, Shane Boy. Um, Shell Game, I yeah. heard that you have an opinion about Avril. I sure do. I have many. Oh, oh. we were hoping for just the one. Oh, which one? Go ahead. The one, you know, the good one. Okay. uh, Wait, (laughs) which one do you want me to read at least? (laughs) Doesn't matter. Read anything. Oh, my God. Okay. um, Okay. It sucks having to say slash type this. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wrong opinion. Yeah, that's totally no, the one. Like, this is you. definitely the one. Look, you, you're a bunch of, you're just a, you're a bunch of preps. And uh, are we a bunch though, of haters? Hey, hey, hey! Well, even my... though I don't like Avril, oh, she's probably the closest any female is going to get to being punk. Oh well, that's Fuck true. Off. Oh, that's I true. enter the darkness. Oh yeah, that's true. Enter the darkness. That's also known as Amy Lee from Evanescence. 
Adam, I'm pretty what? sure Daniel, you, you were the skater hater, right? I am skater hater. <laughs> Donna's chicks. There is a definition of punk, but not the media created one around which people like Avril are basic. That is wow. real punk rock, by the brothers Hansen. That doesn't mean that they have to be a stereotype. I'm sure Avril does not actually qualify as punk. Listening to punk rock and being liberal doesn't make you a punk. Your logic would make me a punk. But I most definitely am not. Also, how do you define quote-unquote punk rock? A band made up of liberal who listen to punk rock? Every cute end of story. No, no. That is the only reason we all like her. And when I say cute, I'm not talking about how attractive she is. I just mean cute. I like turtles. <laughs> God damn. Mark Prager wow, was melting it? there at the end, but really got it through. Good job. Looks like Dr. Interrogative really wants to learn how to jelk. They gave us $50. Damn. Damn. We are going to jelk that shit. Yep. Thank At you, Doctor. Inter- under the supervision of a doctor, yeah. Oh well, yeah. 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 Now Victor's going to be there to handle it for us. Um, Jesus. but I, you know, I, I, you know, I think I didn't hear enough about Blink One Eighty Two yet. So, Jack, yeah. can you tell me more about Blink Blink One Eighty Two? Uh, is yeah, that, sure. I mean, is that what was that? What, is that what you're? Ta- I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what you're going to talk about here. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Uh. uh <laughs> Don't judge my opinions and <laughs> so much money. Yeah. Ooh. Don't judge my opinions and post on supremacists. Oh. I say what I want. If you don't like it, then fuck off. They don't have pretty boy faces, unlike that monkey Justin Timberlake. He has a pretty Ooh. boy face. Damn guy looks like a girl. No, GC no. do not have pretty boy faces. They're just naturally good looking and are jealous. They no. rock Knoxville girl. They do have attitude in their music. And who the fuck are the distillers? How can you not notice the attitude? It's all in, it's it's in all the air songs. P.S. Mark Ho- Hoppus from Blink-182 is hot. Peace. Whoa. What'd you say was your was name was? was? was that's about good Charlotte. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Mark's Maybe future don't. wifey. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, in 2003, I hope that worked out for you. Damn. Uh, we're we're yeah, killing for you. Oh, <laughs> shit. God, you ended up <laughs> you ended up dating Justin Timerlake instead. Yeah, a, it's yeah. you know how the how the cookie crumbles, and then mm-hmm. I turned 18, and he was no longer interested. Sad. Uh, <laughs> uh, Punk girl, you want to take us out of one last opinion about uh. About Avril Lavigne, I believe, in the <laughs> shell posted. We think. Okay. I was born telling myself I shouldn't hate, but I hate Avril. For all things sacred, stop this music. This is the worst thing since I began watching MTV. This is what corporations do to good music. They hire a good-looking prep kid who dresses punk and put her on MTV where she screams and sings and complains about her irksome life and make it look (laughs) and sound even more depressing by asking her to smash mirrors and thrash the malls and smash guitars. These are Avril and drugs. All her songs make her sound like she's always right when the guy breaks up with her and it's (laughs) always the guy's fault. (laughs) Uh, Is this music? Weird. This exactly shows that she is an irresponsible kid who loves blaming others, but people don't see it that way. Right. So now all the hypnotized Avril fans think that, God, she's so punk, she's so cool, and I love her. But hell, they have no idea what real punk even is and how they don't even care. They follow her style, still remembering that she's Punk, da, 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 da. And then one fine day, the Avril haters start to rock the world with this anti-Avril cause she's a poser attitude. And soon Avril goes on in magazines saying, I'm not punk. She's one timid kid curling back into her shell. You never saw her pictures back when she was young, the black framed glasses and the curly hair. She could probably fit into emo if she wasn't that desperate to go into the media. Make money by posing like a punk dude. 
Then again, if yeah. Avril is supposed to represent punk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then the whole punk sense. society's brought to disgrace, and the whole punk society is gone to hell in a rotting handbasket. What's worse, with Avril dating Derek, it's even harder to knock people to their senses that she is no punk opposer, and she is also blamed she's gone too far from pride to shame. She's trying so hard, she's dying in vain. <laughs> Let's just hope Derek's merely playing with her achy, breaky heart. Or if she even has one. Wait a minute. What? What? Achy, breaky heart. Breaky heart? heart? Where the fuck did that come from? Because, um, let me just get back. Um, uh, I listen to punk. I listen to emo. I, but I don't dress punk, and I don't dress emo. And I simply love pop punk. I seriously don't think she fits well into any other category other than pop or shit music. Shit music. Her name makes her sound evil. Avril, the evil weevil. Smiley face. Avril, the evil weevil. I am not trying to offend any of you fans out there, but I guess no. I already did. I'm sorry to you, Avril fans out there, but I'm glad I let it all out. Hell, I feel so good now. God. But at what expense? I mean, really I'm, tragic I'm that, heartbroken. It's, it's really tragic that teenagers don't get to uh, express themselves on the internet like this anymore. Yeah, it's too bad that A there's bygone no era. way anyone to express uh anything really any of this anymore but uh yeah um you guys want to learn anything or anything like that i want to learn about jelkin Wait, yeah well, learn? You, oh turn, turns out you're gonna learn about jelkin because jelkin <laughs> jelkin wins with 506 dollars and 69 cents about fucking jelkin time i learned about wins. jelkin I, I just never started that book that i bought damn Close all right good. yeah uh so yeah we're gonna call it here and we'll be back uh Back after the break. Mark Hoppus from Blink 182 is so hot. Bye! Have a leave a little. I like turtles. Mm -hmm.